In this video I'm going to discuss vacuum forming and thermo forming and the relative differences between the two. Now in a previous playlist on my Key Stage 4 playlist you'll notice there's an actual physical video on vacuum forming, uh, the process, and you may well be familiar with vacuum forming um, as it is sort of a workshop uh, process that you may well have a vacuum forming machine within your classroom. Now with vacuum forming you use obviously a sheet of material. This is uh, held in a clamp and held above a mould. Now the mould can be made from uh, materials such as MDF or other materials that can be obviously smooth and will withstand the, the heat of the softened thermoplastic whether it's acrylic or high impact polystyrene being pulled over the outside. Both processes also have a vacuum pulling the plastic sheet, the thermoplastic sheet, around the outside of the moulds. Now the main difference between thermoforming and vacuum forming is where in vacuum forming you have a mould underneath the, the plastic sheet and the vacuum. In thermoforming you have two moulds. So you have a bottom mould which is like a perhaps the male part of the mould and an upper mould which is the opposing female mould. Now the advantage of uh, moulding using thermoforming obviously is it's going to apply more detail or allow for more complex uh, design details to be added to shapes. So if you wanted for example to add uh, letters, symbols or even achieve slightly sharper edges to the mould then thermoforming might be a better choice. Now there's advantages with both of these processes and, and one of the things obviously is it's quite low cost. If we've got um, quite a small run of products the mould or the setup cost is going to be quite low because obviously we can make the moulds out of fairly cheap materials and they can be made with in a workshop environment as you may well have experienced and it's also going to be good for producing sort of smooth shapes um, if you can achieve a smooth quality outcome on the finish of your mould. Now the disadvantages with this obviously in terms of higher scale manufacture it might make quite a labour intensive process because obviously trimming is usually needed to finish the, the various vacuum forms as they come out of the mould. Now the other issue is if you have a deep mould then stretching is going to occur with the uh, thermoplastic which will therefore make it thinner and slightly less rigid and less strong than it starts off in its sheet form. The other disadvantage or main disadvantage is it's slightly limited to simpler designs. It's probably quite difficult to have details on all sides of the product because the vacuum is coming from the bottom obviously and there are limitations in terms of undercuts and obviously draft angles as with ever uh, every type of uh, forming process with plastics. Now the sort of products that, you, that are produced with vacuum forming are generally quite often packaging products such as things like what you might find uh, the plastic encasing an easter egg or perhaps um, how you might find fruit come to the supermarket in those large trays that are spaced out to support apples or pears or oranges for example.